In this exercise, we'll implement the algorithm we just developed to calculate the difference between the slider value and the target value in Swift. Along the way, you'll learn about an important new construct in Swift, the if-else statement. Let's dive right in. The best place to put our algorithm is inside viewcontroller.swift down here in the show alert method. Remember, we've configured our app so that when you tap the button, this method is called. So how do we code this in Swift? Well, we're going to use a construct called the if-else statement. Don't type what I'm about to do. I'm just going to show you the way it works in English. The way an if-else statement works is basically you say, if something is true, and inside curly braces, if this condition, whatever you put right here is true, then the code inside here is executed. So you can then do this. And you can chain these so you can add another condition. So if that condition is false, but if the second condition is true, you can have another set of curly braces and have then do that instead. And finally, you can also add a condition that happens if none of these other things are true. So if, if this is not true and this is also not true, then end up calling whatever's in here. So do something else if neither of the above are true. So obviously I'm getting lots of errors here because I've written my code in English and not in Swift, but we can use this same idea to actually write our algorithm here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable to store the difference. And we're going to declare the type of this variable to be an integer. Then we'll write our algorithm. So the first if statement is if the current value that the user has selected is greater than the target value. Then in this case, the difference is the current value minus the target value. Why? Because the current value is larger, so you're subtracting the smaller number from the larger number, and we have a positive number in the difference. Now, what if it's the other way around? Then in this case, difference is the larger number, which is target value, minus the smaller number, which is current value. And there's one last case where they're equal, and in that case, we'll just say the difference is zero. Okay, let's modify this so we can see if it works. So I'm gonna add on one more string to the end of this message, and it's gonna say the difference is, and we'll put the difference here. And that's it. Now I'll run this. And it says put it as close as I can to 72, so here you go. I'll put a little bit lower than that on purpose. And the value of the slider is 70, the target value is 72, the difference was 2. So in this case, the slider was less than the value and it worked. Let's try one where it's larger. So 72 again, let's move it up here to a higher value. So 89, which is greater than 72, and it still worked, the difference is 17. Great.